In this video, we will treat the chromosomal abnormalities and the prenatal diagnosis and at the end of it, the student will be able to define chromosomal abnormalities, name certain chromosomal abnormalities, write the chromosomal formulas of individuals with chromosomal abnormalities, and list the different techniques used in prenatal diagnosis. First of all, gene mutations are a source of change in the genome. However, modifications of chromosomes in a cell, referred to as chromosomal mutations, can also remodel the genome. On the other hand, the presence of a genetic disorder in a family is an indication for a couple to consult a physician who asks for specific tests to predict the risks. So, what are the different types of chromosomal mutations or abnormalities? And what are the different techniques used in prenatal diagnosis? A chromosomal abnormality takes place if the number of chromosomes or the structure of chromosomes in an individual changes. Many cases will be studied, Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, and Klinefelter syndrome in case of abnormality in the number, and Cat Cry syndrome in case of abnormality in the structure. Let's start with Down syndrome, which is the common name of this syndrome. The karyotype shows that there are three chromosomes 21 instead of two chromosomes, which means that the abnormality is an extra chromosome 21. The genetic name is trisomy 21, where the term trisomy means three chromosomes. How do we write the chromosomal formula of this individual? First, we count the chromosomes and we write the total number, which is 47. Second, we write the sex chromosomes of the individual that are XY in this karyotype. And finally, we mention the abnormality, which is an extra chromosome 21. This type of trisomy is called free form because the three, three chromosomes 21 are free and not attached to any other chromosomes. And of course, trisomy 21 is an autosomal abnormality. Also, this karyotype corresponds to an individual affected with down syndrome but where are the three chromosomes 21 actually there are two free chromosomes 21 while the third is translocated to chromosome 14 which means it is attached to chromosome 14 concerning the chromosomal formula in this case the total number of chromosomes is 46, although the translocation. The sex chromosomes are XY, but the translocation is mentioned at the end of the chromosomal formula to indicate that this is a case of trisomy, and in the chromosomal formula, letter T refers to translocation, where a chromosome 21 is translocated to chromosome 14. Okay, now let's examine the karyotype of this individual. He has one free chromosome 21 and a second one translocated to chromosome 14. So there is no excess or loss of genetic information and this individual will be phenotypically normal. This is called balanced translocation. The chromosomal formula 
is written as follows 45 chromosomes which is the total number of chromosomes XY that are the sex chromosomes and at the end the translocation is mentioned now concerning uh, this graph it shows that the risk of having uh, children affected with Down syndrome increases with the maternal age. How do we explain this fact? Actually, with age, the amount of certain proteins that intervene in the separation of chromosomes or sister chromatids decreases. This leads to error in meiosis and, of course, to errors in the number of chromosomes in the oocyte and this increases the risk of having children with chromosomal abnormalities what about turner syndrome this syndrome affects only girls that suffer from sterility because of atrophy of ovaries and lack of feminine sexual characteristics the karyotype shows that there is only one chromosome X in this girl which means that the abnormality is a missing chromosome X and the genetic name of this syndrome is monosomy X where the term monosomy refers to one chromosome the chromosomal formula is 45 chromosomes which is the total number the sex chromosomes which is only one chromosome x and the abnormality which is a missing chromosome x and this is a gonosomal abnormality what about Klinefelter syndrome it affects only boys that suffer from sterility because of atrophy of testicles and they present certain feminine sexual characteristics if we examine the karyotype we find two chromosomes x and one chromosome y instead of one x and one y which means that the abnormality is an extra chromosome x and the chromosomal formula will be 47 XXY and plus X and this is a gonosomal abnormality in the next section we will identify the origin of abnormalities that are due to errors in the number of the chromosomes in this video we consider a mother cell of gametes containing two chromosome pairs let's examine the phases of meiosis of this cell We can see that during anaphase 1, two homologous chromosomes didn't separate as usual and migrated towards the same pole. Let's continue with the other phases. At the end of meiosis, all gametes that derive from this cell are abnormal, containing 
n plus 1 or n minus 1 instead of n chromosomes. Let's see another video. Also in this video, we consider a mother cell of gametes containing two chromosome pairs. Meiosis 1 was normal, but during anaphase 2, in one of the two cells, the two sister chromatids of a chromosome didn't separate and migrated towards the same pole, and only the cell where the error took place gives gametes with an abnormal number of chromosomes. So briefly, during anaphase 1, the homologous chromosomes don't separate and migrate towards the same pole. This is called non-disjunction of homologous chromosomes. And during anaphase 2, the sister chromatids don't separate and migrate towards the same pole, and this is called the non-disjunction of sister chromatids and these are the two errors that can take place during meiosis and lead to gametes with an abnormal number of chromosomes. Now concerning the cat cry syndrome if we examine the karyotype we find that one of chromosomes 5 is shorter than the other which means that there is a loss of a part of chromosome 5 leading to a cat-like cry in newborns if we count the chromosomes we will find them 46 chromosomes so the chromosomal formula is 46 xx in this case and this is an abnormality in the structure of chromosomes and not in their number. To identify the origin of cat cry syndrome in a child, let's consider the chromosome pairs 5 and 12 of a father and a mother. We find that the mother has completely normal chromosomes 5 and 12 while the father has a balanced translocation of a part of chromosome 5 to chromosome 12 and he is normal. If the oocyte produced by the mother contains two fully normal chromosomes 5 and 12 and the sperm cell produced by the father contains the chromosome 5 that that is missing a part and a normal chromosome 12 the child that results from this fertilization will be affected by cat cry syndrome and now concerning the prenatal diagnosis it's the use of one or many techniques to detect a genetic disease or a chromosomal abnormality in the fetus. If a genetic disease is suspected, a gel electrophoresis or DNA fingerprint is applied. While, if a chromosomal abnormality is suspected, 
karyotyping procedure is done. Whatever the technique to be applied is, fetal cells are needed and actually there are three sources of fetal cells. The first one is the fetal blood which can be taken from the umbilical cord. The second one is the amniotic fluid which contains fetal cells and which can be taken from the amniotic sac in the uterus. And finally, by taking a biopsy of chorionic villi that are fetal structures that absorb the nutrients from the placenta.